black and white, the new orange at the Sacagaw County Jail. Sheriff William Federspiel changing jail jumpsuits thanks to a hit TV series. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Bill Harris. Sheriff Federspiel says orange is in, so he's throwing out the bright colored jail suit uh, jumpsuits, exchanging them for retro colored black and white uniforms, saying it's all in the name of safety. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph in the news tonight with our top story. Walter, what started this chain reaction? Bill, the sheriff tells me it's thanks in part to the hit TV series Orange is the New Black. He says the prison drama glorifies jail life and has made the color orange trendy. He's hoping to nip that trend in the bud, but the changing of colors not sitting well with everyone. I am prepared to behave like a model inmate. Orange is the New Black may be a television hit, but you won't find Saginaw County Sheriff William Fetterspill binge watching the prison drama. I've never watched a full episode. I've got my own reality show over here. Fetterspill says spending time behind bars, no laughing matter. I don't want television to bleed over into real life. That's why Fetterspill swapping the orange jail jumpsuits for black and white stripes. It doesn't have a connotation of being cool. Fetterspiel says while Orange may be in, he doesn't want his inmates getting the wrong impression. No, and until there's a new show that's black and white horizontal stripes is the new black, I'm going to this look. I think Orange is becoming a little popular. I, I agree with what he's doing. But parolee Michael McGinnis not happy with the change in wardrobe. Just recently got out of prison and that's what they made us wear. McGinnis says the new colors demeaning for inmates. They got us in full body jumpsuits. What's the point in putting us in black and white? Whoa, my heart bleeds for him. If you don't like the clothes that I give you, don't return. Sheriff Fetterspiel says the new jump, jumpsuits will make the inmates easy to spot while they're out on work detail. He says the county will also save about $800. Fetterspiel expects all inmates to don the new garb by the end of the year. In the newsroom tonight, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Bill. Walter, thank you. When we